So how do you know which is the right Fluke IR window to choose for the application that you're working in? Well, the first thing to do is determine the environment. Is it an outdoor application or an indoor application? Fluke actually has models that are rated for the outdoors and will stand up to the UV because they're tested to UV aging testing. So if it's an outdoor application, you would select the CLKT model. If it's an indoor application and it's going into an arc tested cabinet, then that will also be a CLKT model. If it's indoors in a non-arc tested cabinet and you need to go up to 38 kV with switch gear, then you'll have the CLKTO. If it's 600 volts or lower, let's say a 480 volt cabinet, it will be the CLV. So here we're showing an example of an outdoor mounted application. And here we have examples of an indoor application. The next choice will be the size. There are 2 inch, 3 inch, and 4 inch round models. And you not only have the straight across view, but you can also angle your thermal imager for a wider view. So for example, a 6 inch, if it's 6 inch from the front of the cabinet to where your target is, then with a 3 inch window you'll be able to see 16 inches from top to bottom or side to side. If you have 12 inches, you can now get 29 inches. And there's a great field of view calculator on the Fluke website that can help you as well. There are some ratios that we can work with. If you're looking at 6 inches, you'll have a 2.7 ratio. If you're looking at 18 inches, you'll have 2.4. So this can help you determine where you want to place the windows as well as what size window you need. This is an example of the field of view, how even though it's only a 3 inch window, with 12 inches to the target, we can get 29 inches across, so we can see a pretty wide view. Here's an example of a 4 inch, expands that to 38 inches. You could also take into account whether you have a standard lens or a wide angle lens. The wide angle lens will give you a wider view with a single shot. So to determine how many windows you need, it really helps to walk around, look at your cabinets. If you have uh, things like phase barriers, there's ways we can straddle that with two windows so you don't need to have three. If you're working, real pa rear panels are often deeper than the front. And sometimes it's not practical to install the window on the front panel. If you install it on the rear or the side, you can see very well. So you would make a chart of where you're going to place the windows, um, maybe what the ID is, what side of window size you need, and then where you might want to mount it. And one thing to consider is Fluke gives you compliance without compromise. These have been tested to the lady, uh, latest IR standards. And one of the nice things about Fluke windows is you can also see through them visually. A lot of other windows will not give you this visual component, so you can look inside and actually see if things are starting to melt where you not only have to use your IR imager to determine that. So hopefully this will help you determine which of the Fluke IR windows you want for your application.